Hello loves, welcome back. Today we're doing a full face of first impressions. So grab a snack, get cozy, or grab all your makeup and your brushes and let's do some makeup and get ready together. So I just did a really simple eyeshadow look with the Warm Ember Nudes Mini Eyeshadow Palette from Too Faced. This is so cute. I really love especially the pink and bronze shimmer mixed. All over the lid, it just looks like the most beautiful pinky rose gold nude bronze shade. I love it. And then with that really light shade, I added it to lighten the center up, but also it adds a really pretty sparkly touch, which you guys know I love. So, so far, I really do like this palette. I think the colors are nice and smooth and buildable, and I love how compact it is as well. So that is a winner for me. Very simple eyeshadow look. So now let's do mascara. I have the greatest lashes of all time mascara from Polite Society very beautiful packaging i love it so let me curl my lashes first i'm gonna use my tweezer man lash curler okay let's see it is given some length i see some separation as well it is a more drier mascara formula but it does give some length it is a little bit clumpy but you can see it actually does lengthen really nicely. I'm trying to like get the clumps out, but I mean, at least you can see it right on my lashes. Let's do the other eye. I'm obsessed with this color. It's like the prettiest blue. I think this is one of those mascaras where you really shouldn't do too much because then that's when it can get clumpy. So I would say definitely a light layer will do the trick. Otherwise, it is going to look pretty clumpy. The wand has like these little fibers, which I do feel like lengthen your lashes pretty nicely. It probably won't hold much of a curl though, just because my lashes are really straight and it's not waterproof. But I think so far it looks pretty good. I mean, my lashes aren't really the best. That's why I always do falsies, but it's it showed up. Are these my greatest lashes of all time? For me personally, no. I don't know if it's like my absolute favorite formula. It is a little bit on the dry side. I prefer something with a little bit more just so that it doesn't clump and make my lashes kind of stick together as much, but lashes are on. So I did the half lashes from Kiss in the style Freckle. Very pretty, super just like lightweight and they're not really long. They just give a little curl and they add like a little cluster to the outer lashes so I really like them. Now to prep the skin I'm just going to do setting spray and moisturizer. This is the new Urban Decay Hyaluronic Acid and Watermelon Fruit Extract Spray. So I'm going to use this before to prep and then to set everything once the makeup is complete. And it's supposed to be a long lasting makeup spray for up to 16 hours. It's pretty much just like their original all nighter but this one has the hyaluronic acid and the watermelon fruit extract. I love a good glowy hydrating mist. It does smell like watermelon too. It smells really nice. I always forget my little baby fan. Hold on, let me grab it. We're gonna let that marinate. That smells really nice. Very sweet and refreshing. Then I'm gonna use the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Gel Cream to prep the skin. This is so hydrating. It feels so lightweight, but still adds a nice layer of moisture. It's nice too because it's not a greasy moisturizer, so it is truly one of the best products under makeup it's also really fast absorbing so very good at moisturizer if you have combo or oily skin now i have the brand new unreal skin sheer glow tint hydrating foundation stick from charlotte tilbury so we're going to start with the shade 5 medium first 
Ooh, that might be a perfect match actually. And then the other shade that they sent was six medium. So let's see which one would be better. Okay, wait, I feel like they both are very seamless on the skin, but I think I like six medium. They're both just very skin-like. I'm gonna go with six medium. Ooh, this looks very glowy. Let me grab the packaging so we can see some claims. But is it gonna work now for the summer? We shall see. So it's supposed to be a blurring soft glow foundation. It comes in 20 different shades and it's a supernatural sheer to light buildable coverage product. Very interesting. Let's blend this in with a brush. Ooh, very glowy. It kind of looks like the flawless filter. It gives a little bit of that very glowy effect. Wow, so for me personally, I don't think I would use this as a foundation. I feel like I would wanna use a foundation or some type of concealer or something over top because it's super glowy. And again, six medium I think is a good, pretty good match. Yeah, to me this doesn't really feel like a foundation. It feels kind of like a skin prep product because of how glowy it is. And I love glowy skin, but I feel like even this, just wearing it on its own is kind of a bit much. I don't know if I would even really want to because I like to glow, but this is just... It's kind of reminding me of the 2016 highlighter challenge, full face using only highlighter. I'm pretty sure I did that video as well way back when, but that is the kind of vibe that this gives me. I don't know if I really love it. The glow, it's just kind of aggressive. I don't think this is really something that I would use. I'm just showing you on the back of my hand, like the finish of that. So truthfully, it doesn't really matter how much or how little you use, you're going to get this very glowy, intense finish. So if that's what you're into, then you could use this on its own or maybe under your favorite foundation if you want to add more of a glowy finish but for me i think it's a little bit too much i don't really like it a new foundation that is high-end that i have been loving is from venti beauty it's the soft lit naturally luminous foundation if you just want that inner healthy glow with a foundation this one is amazing it has beautiful coverage but i love that it gives you that healthy glow without looking like this because to me this is a lot and especially in the heat I don't want to be this glowy. I love glowy products, but this is just a lot. So that's a good foundation. But I think, you know, for the sake of the video, I'm just going to leave it as is. See how other products apply. And also I want to see how this looks under powder. So let's just keep it, keep it going. I do have a new little contour stick here. It's from the brand Metamorphosis, which is an indie brand. If you guys have not tried it, they make some of the best blush palettes, but they have little bronzer sticks now. So I think I'm going to go in with the shade MB... 13. Let me just show you the packaging. It's super cute. Definitely a good smaller business to support. And I originally found them on TikTok, but I love their blushes. So let's try this bronzer stick. This one is in the color MB13. Oh, it's a little bit lighter than I was expecting. Okay. Let's do MB14 then. It's a little bit darker, but I think that's what we need today. Ooh, I love the color of this. The tone is really pretty. It's like a true brown without looking muddy or too orange. I feel like this could work too whenever I do have more of a tan as well. It's a nice color. The other one was a little bit too light, but this one is actually a lot more wearable than I thought. I Just looking at it in the packaging, I was like, ooh, it's gonna be too dark, but it's actually perfect. A little bit goes a long way. It's very creamy. Oh my gosh, I am so shiny. I don't like that foundation. That is way too much. And I know, I already know. I applied too much. <laughs> Definitely. But I kind of just applied it like I would my regular foundation stick. Like I want it evenly coated all throughout my face. The product is just like insanely glowy and I don't like it. I think I, I need to tone it down a little bit. So I'm just using this little sponge to see if I can tone down some of this glowiness. The bronzer stick I love. That is very pretty and I love the color. 
I think I'm just gonna add some concealer and call it a day. This also feels a little bit even more glowy than Flawless Filter. Okay, let's add some concealer. I'm gonna use the Tower 28 concealer in the shade MDR. It's the specifically the serum concealer. I'm gonna apply this on my under eyes and this is gonna kind of be like my other foundation. I know I used that from Charlotte Tilbury, but honestly, it looks a mess right now. It's just way too, it's not even glowy. It's just like shiny, honestly. It's just a little Tin Man moment and I don't like it. I'm using this little paw paw, I think it's called, sponge from Amazon. It's really soft, I do like it, but it does, Kind of sheer out the product a little bit so i think it depends on the kind of coverage and formula so if you have a concealer that's maybe a little bit too thick but you still want to use it the sponge would be a nice tool to blend it in but i definitely do prefer a brush but i do like the sponge too it feels nice too when you're doing your makeup especially in the summer because it's a little damp and it's just bouncy but i think a brush is always just going to give you a little bit more of like a full coverage more flawless airbrush finish. Now I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blurring Serum Blush, and this one is in Hibiscus. Apparently this is a really nice blendable formula. I love the packaging, and I've seen people blend these out with their fingers. I don't really use my fingers for blush, but let's try it. This is a gorgeous shade, by the way. I wanted something a little bit brighter because then when I go over it with powder, it's going to kind of tone it down just a little bit. This does blend really nicely with my finger, but I do feel like I need a little brush or a sponge to kind of like blend the edges a little bit better. I did use quite a bit. You probably don't need that much. There is a good amount of pigment. See, sometimes too, the sponge lifts my products a little bit. So I think that's why I do prefer a brush. It just gives a more flawless application in my opinion. I think I've come to that conclusion. Definitely is possible to blend these in with your finger, just don't use too much. But they do have a really nice blend to them. I mean, look at that. Just with tapping motions. Pretty. Ooh, I forgot to do a bronzer on the sides of my nose. This Anastasia blush is gorgeous. If I can blend something out that easily with my finger, then it's a winner. Good amount of pigment too. I think this color is like so beautiful. It's the perfect kind of watermelon hot pink, but it's stunning. I also love the cream bronzer from Metamorphosis. This is a perfect shade on me, MB14. Love it. The only thing I'm really not loving so far is the Charlotte Tilbury foundation. It's just a little bit too much for me, but I'll definitely continue using it. Maybe I'll try using it with a little bit less product, but as of right now, I can't say that I really love it. I would say save your money and you can find something different that's not this glowy. I have a new powder here. This is the Hourglass Airbrushed Vanish Press Powder. If you watch my videos, you know how obsessed I am with the Veil Translucent Powder. It's beautiful. It is airbrushed flawless smooth bridal skin that literally if you're getting married or if you have any special occasion or even if you don't this is a beautiful translucent powder you can get the mini size too and it'll last you a while the larger packaging on this is not the best i actually prefer the packaging to the mini but whatever the powder itself is still that good that i don't even mind i just make it work let's try the press powder now so this is the packaging you do get a little puff which do you guys like these? I don't really like these, but I do like having the little puff there. Like I understand why it's there, but I'm always just like, Ugh, I want more product instead of the puff. What do you guys think? But beautiful packaging. I love the mirror, very travel friendly. Let's use it to set pretty much everything. I'm gonna start with my under eyes first. I can't really get into the little puff. I think that's good for maybe touch-ups, but I'm gonna just use my regular triangle puff. Let's start on this side. Oh, that is pretty. I don't know what they do to this powder to make it truly look like a veil on your skin. Now I'm going to use the other side of the puff to set 
my entire face. It does kind of lighten my complexion though. It says translucent, but I feel like it is very, very light on my skin right now. Like I kind of feel like it gave me ghost face a little bit or a lot. Oh yeah, I think this gave me ghost face. It does look really pretty on the skin though. Like it actually does look airbrushed. I just feel like it kind of, like I said, gave me like a very lighter complexion, which I don't love. Like, there's a difference now between my face and my body, which I don't really love. I think the powder is beautiful. I didn't really expect it to lighten up my complexion as much as it did. I thought it was just going to be a little bit more neutral, just because it's a translucent color. But it did lighten my complexion a lot, but it looks very smooth it feels nice now i feel like i just really need to bronze i don't have a new bronzer besides that cream bronzer so let me just go grab another powder bronzer and try to balance this out a little bit better i just looked in the mirror and i don't think that i like this like my mirror in my vanity in my beauty room from like further away i'm like oof, this doesn't really look the best i'm just using the soft sculpt bronzer from makeup by mario in the shade light medium I'm going to use a fluffy Royal Techniques brush just to add a little bit more warmth to the skin and try to balance this out a little bit. I think the blush is really pretty. You can definitely still even see it after I set with powder. I love the shade. I really like how easily it just melted into the skin. So yeah, so far I think the only thing that I don't really love is the Charlotte Tilbury foundation. It is very glowy still. You can kind of see that glow peeking through under the powder. And then the powder I do like. I just wish it didn't really lighten up my face as much as it did. But noted that could work in my favor whenever I use a foundation that's a little bit too dark, which happens. So, okay. The bronzer I think helped a little bit. It's not perfect, but it will have to do. So now I wanted to use one of these new Fenty Beauty Velour Blush Lighters. This is kind of giving me like Milani Luminoso vibes. Like it's like that blush and glow in one. This one is in Fresh Peach. I think this is going to be really pretty too with the look and the current cream blush underneath. Wow, this is a really glowy product. Let me swatch it first. Oh yeah, it's a peach highlighter with golden shimmer in it. So pretty and then the other color I have here is in baked peach and it's a little bit more orangey coral I'm gonna use fresh peach because I think it's more fitting with the look but they're both very glowy there's a good amount of pigment though so let's see how it looks on the cheeks not that I really need more glow but it's summer so that is the excuse Ooh. To see maybe a difference between this cheek and this cheek it gave a little bit more color but definitely added a lot more glow i like how the glow to this is more on the golden side i think it's very flattering for summer pretty very pretty i like this now of course something this glowy is going to emphasize any texture that you may have so just something to keep in mind it's kind of like the rare beauty blushes that are very luminous so just a little FYI, but I do think it's a gorgeous product. I love how smooth it goes on. And also this packaging is gorgeous for summer. I wish these weren't limited edition. I think they're really pretty. I'm going to finish my lower lashes. I'm pretty much just going to do a little mascara and then inner corner highlight. Okay, if you're watching this right now and you hear the ice cream truck... Even if you don't hear it, because I hear it, comment a little ice cream emoji. I love me some ice cream in the summer, you guys. That is like one of my top favorite, if not my favorite dessert of all time. And vanilla cone with rainbow sprinkles. Yes. Please. 
I think I like this mascara a little bit more for the lower lashes because it gives me that separation. It is kind of flaky though. I am noticing that it is flaking, so that's the only thing, but I think it's pretty good. I'll definitely keep using it. I can't say it's like wowing me, but it's pretty good. I'm going to take the matte pink color in the palette and I'm just going to apply that right in the inner corners. I love a matte bright shade because it lightens up the eyes and this is stunning because it's a very muted baby pink and I just discovered this beautiful I don't even know what technically is it it says a multi-stick so it's like a cream liner shadow stick it's from wet and wild and it is just the most beautiful reddish brown I love it on the lower lash line so I feel like it, it's perfect for today's look it's in the color chocolate cheat day and wow this is one of the creamiest jumbo pencils I've ever tried I love it I think I want to do a lip liner because all lip products look better with a lip liner. I don't know if this one's going to be a little bit too dark, but I kind of want to just try it and see. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Pencil, and this one is in Chai. So I think I'm going to line with this and then try out three new lip oils from Fenty. I love ABH lip liners, but I've never tried this color. I only swatched it, and it looks really good, so let's see. Oh, that's pretty. We need like a bomb lip combo to make up for this complexion because I literally look like Tin Man right now. We're going to try three new lip oils from Fenty. It's the Gloss Bomb Oil and this is from the same collection as their blush lighters. So starting off with the first one, Super Fine Sugar. So this looks like a very light champagne. Mmm. The smell is delicious. Nice flat spatula applicator they feel really smooth this has a really gorgeous glittery finish to it which is nice but it doesn't feel gritty it actually feels very smooth oh i love the glitter it kind of looks like the gloss bomb highlighter but like on your lips and it's gold this is gorgeous. This is going to look good on everybody because it's just like that really light champagne shade that you can use. You can see by itself or just with a little lip liner. It makes your lips look so shiny and plump. I love it. This is a good shade. Mm, it smells so good. So again, this one is in Super Fine Sugar. The texture feels a little bit more thin than the original gloss bombs that they have. And they also feel very hydrating. When you wipe it away, there's still a little bit of the remnants of the oil. And it's kind of glittery. It looks really pretty. Next color is in Kappa Cookie. Oh, wow. It is a true copper. Very pretty. I don't think I have anything like this in my collection. I can, like, actually say that. It's a true gorgeous copper with gold shimmer. Very pretty. I like this formula. I wish these weren't limited edition. Come on, Fenty. Let's keep these permanent. They feel so good. Fenty should come out with a gorgeous, milky pink, like universal pink lip oil with the most beautiful, fine shimmer, like as if it was the Fenty Diamond Bomb. Imagine that. And then Fenty with, they need to come out with lip liner. So imagine doing a brown lip liner with a new Fenty pink, milky, gorgeous, glittery lip oil. They need to do that. And the last lip oil is in Frosted Buns. This one looks like a rose gold. I think this one's gonna be my favorite. Wow, this is gorgeous. It's a rose gold. They all have shimmer, but they all feel so nice on the lips. Love pigment. The shine, I love the glitter finish. I think that's really pretty. It just gives it the perfect sparkly touch. The lip oils are fabulous. I really like the shades, but I also love the glittery finish that each of them have. 10 out of 10 so far, I think they're great. I love Fenty lip products. I think they're totally worth the splurge. And so the last thing I'm gonna do is just set my makeup with the Hyaluronic Acid Spray, and then we can chat a little about these products because I think you already know my thoughts though, but let's set the makeup. 
So this is the completed makeup look. I really like it. Like I said, everything worked really nicely, minus the foundation. I don't know who would want to be this glowy. I mean, I love a glow, but this is just a bit extreme. I thought that it was going to maybe look a little bit better once the powder and concealer and everything was on, but it just didn't. It's just way too much. So for me, this is a no-go. I was going to continue using it and everything, but I'm like, you know what? I think I've seen what I needed to see and this is just not it. But everything else looked really good. I definitely want to use the powder from Hourglass more with my favorite products because I think this is really pretty. I just don't like how it lightened up my foundation quite a bit. So I think everything performed really well. The eyeshadow palette is nice. I mean, do you really absolutely need this? No, unless you like these kind of tones. It is a really cute palette, but you know, I'm sure you already have a ton of neutral palettes in your collection, so it's not necessary, but if you do buy it, I think it's cute. I like the all shimmer shade. I love the blushes from Fenty Beauty. This one specifically, actually the color that I used, Fresh Peach. Very pretty if you're into a luminous kind of baked blush look. The serum blush from Anastasia was also a lot better than I was expecting. I thought it was going to be a bit more sheer, but it ended up giving a beautiful amount of pigment and you can blend it out with your fingers, which is always nice. And another thing I wasn't a huge fan of was the Polite Society Mascara. It's okay, but it's kind of dry. It does flake. Like I already noticed flaking throughout the video when I was doing my makeup. So that for me is not the vibe because then the little flakes get in my my eyes and then it's just the worst throughout the day so I don't really think that I like this but this I will continue using the foundation is just not it I don't even want to try it again because it's just it's too much so let me know if you've tried any of these but honestly even if you haven't you're not missing out because I mean the products some of them are really good but really you don't need any of this I'm just testing it out as to be a little guinea pig for you to let you know what is worth it or not if you do decide to splurge Thank you guys so much for being here and hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week and I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.